Two legal cases centered on same-sex marriage will make their way to Washington, and the court decisions could affect many gay people across the country. Matt Marka met a local couple waiting and watching. Hearings at the nation's capital will be listened to closely in the capital district by at least one same-sex couple contemplating marriage since it was legalized in New York last year. It's not, uh, you know, uh, out of the equation that we wouldn't get married. We're just waiting to see how all of this is going to work out. California voters approved Proposition 8, which bans same-sex marriage there. The highest court will argue its constitutionality. As a matter of law, we're arguing that this is something that belongs to the people and the Democrats democratic process uh, to, to decide whether to, to redefine fundamental institutions in society. Also to be considered on a national scale, the Defense of Marriage Act. It defines marriage as a union between a man and a woman when it comes to receiving federal benefits. That decision could impact what Domingo and Jeffrey would be entitled to. I've loved the same person for 17 years. Why shouldn't my government recognize that we pay taxes, we volunteer in our community? Despite New York's legalization, questions persist about the rights gay couples have when it comes to health, pensions, and taxes. I could be married here, and my marriage could be celebrated in this state, but if I go to Mississippi or Florida um, and something happens, my partner, w partner would have no say in my care and, and possibly would be excluded from even being able to visit me in the hospital. Domingo and Jeffrey believe federal laws are the only way to clear up who has the right to marry and the rights those people have. They say they are cautiously optimistic watching the events unfold in Washington. Matt Markham, CBS 6 News. The Supreme Court will likely begin hearing arguments in March. New York, Vermont, and Massachusetts are among nine states where same-sex marriage is either legal or soon will be.